Let's take a minute to talk about payment and how that works. So you can take a payment on a completed work order that's got an invoice attached. So here if we look at one, you can see this invoice has already been priced up. It's got some items on it. And down here at the bottom, you can see we've got this menu option. I tap it. It brings up my options to pay invoice. Let's hit pay invoice and see how that works. We refresh to the server to make sure you've got a current version of the invoice and present you the end user with your payment methods. Now these are the ones that are synchronized with QuickBooks. So I can take any payment method that I can take in QuickBooks out in the field. In this example, I'm going to first show you MasterCard. So if, you're, uh, if you've got customers like so many of us do, who've got their, uh, their rewards card that they want to use, you can go ahead and put the card down next to the phone and uh, tap in that number, whatever it is. Now, as you can imagine, I don't want to put a credit card number on a video, so we're going to go ahead and take a check in this example, which will be another legitimate payment method. Uh, we'll indicate who it's received from. Let's say this one's from Jose, and I'm going to go ahead and put the check number in there too. Let's call it 825. Go ahead and charge it. We'll do the round trip to the server. If it were a credit card, we'd verify through QEMS so you'd get an instant decline if it weren't accepted. And we can go ahead and email the payment receipt uh, directly to the contact on the work order. And it's as simple as that. We can also take a look at what that payment looks like on the desktop. Here on the desktop then, to see that payment, it's pretty straightforward. You go down to the invoice, uh, to the respective work order, and here you can see the link directly. We can click through on that payment. And this is precisely what we'll go through to QuickBooks. It's just as simple as that.